Every day at Guantanamo Bay at 8 a.m., the star-spangled banner, America's national anthem, blasts out across all corners of this U.S.-controlled portion of Cuba. For the 41 prisoners here, it's another reminder of who's in charge. But for every other person and animal on this U.S. naval base, it's another chance to enjoy what Guantanamo Bay has to offer. Diving in the clear blue waters is a popular hobby for off-duty guards. Guantanamo boasts three cinemas showing the latest movies throughout the week. There's dozens of playgrounds, a school and the choice of bars and restaurants. Residents can liberate their day with the breakfast at McDonald's. And for souvenirs to take back home, there is, of course, a gift shop. Just over that hill behind me is one of the world's most notorious prisons. But you wouldn't know that from standing here less than a mile away. If you look up and down this street, it looks just like any other American suburb. Some people here say living near the world's most expensive prison doesn't affect them. I've lived here three times and I've never, never seen it. Zach Anderson is a presenter on Radio Gitmo, helping inform and entertain Guantanamo's residents. He describes his time growing up here as paradise. I have gotten a few conversations where it's like, I had no idea this was such a big thing. I thought it would be way different. And no, it's, for the most part, it's small town USA, um, whenever you're just living here. The communities are tight knit. Uh, everyone knows everyone's business. As President Trump weighs up what to do about Guantanamo prison, life here continues. And for Guantanamo's American residents, that's just the way they like it. Harry Horton, TRT World, Guantanamo Bay.